Hello, I'm Tom Hopkins. I'm an assistant professor at Bossier Parish Community College, and I teach programming. And in this segment, what we're going to do is talk about Python and uh, the Python language and functions and how we group statements together. What we're going to cover is the, uh, the functions, what it is, and why we use them. We're going to talk about how to write the functions in, in Python language. We're going to talk about variables inside and outside. And we're going to talk about parameters, how to pass the values between the functions. OK, let's get started. Uh, you may have already seen the segment on uh, functions, the general segment that we have. Uh, this, and this quick review, a function is a group of statements within a program that perform a specific task. Uh, and those tasks then allow us to uh, break a whole line of uh, statements up into, into parts or into separate pieces. Uh, we usually call this, uh, it's commonly called a divide and conquer approach or also a modularized program which is a program where each task is built inside a particular function. And there's a couple reasons for doing this. When we look at it, what we see on the left is a typical old program, the way programming uh, started off to be, which was just a series of long statements, one after another. The computer always starts up at the top, and it reads the first one into memory, the second one into memory, and once it gets most of the statements in memory, then it will turn around and start uh, activating or, or acting upon each statement one after another. Now, this can be rather a long approach because if you uh, think about it, if one individual sat down to write a program, let's say Windows 7, which has somewhere around 70 million lines of code, well, you can see you can spend your lifetime writing just one program. What we can do is take this program, these long sequence of statements, and we can divide it up into functions. And we can take those functions then, and it allows us to do uh, troubleshooting, or debug as we call it, on each one of the functions. We can also take it and, and separate it out into task and then provide, uh, have each group do a particular ca task. Um, so it, functions allow us to really do a lot of uh, uh, capability that we have. It allows us to uh, break it up into pieces. One of the things you now have is anytime you build a, a program, you're going to have a team. Each one of the team members can then work on a particular function. And then, of course, at the end, they put it all together, and you've got a program. Of course, some of the bigger ones, like Microsoft building Windows, an operating system like Windows 7, they're going to have teams for each one of the functions that they build.